Hello guys again, uh, in the previous videos uh, we have evaluated thermal response test results, we have calculated thermal conductivity using infinite line source and infinite spinnaker source, and so I want to use a numerical model uh, to validate my results. That's why I'm going to use OpenGLC since it's an open source program, it can be downloaded in this website and it can be used uh, free. And first of all I need to prepare the for geometry of my borehole. I'm going to use also another pre-made program, Nvidia OGS. It is possible to uh, design the, my geometry. Now, first of all, I need to give the uh, points to here. I am going to start from zero. I need to write all the points here. Yes, I wrote uh, the points here, the name of the, uh, the middle of the BHE, point BHE. Also here, the, the pole lines, also it is prepared for here. This is my uh, pole line, it is a borehole, it is a line, and there are also surfaces are here, so I can make from here, uh, okay, like that, this is also uh, possible to see here, this is the surface, and uh, it is already right now, and uh, yeah, these are the, some notes, because these notes I want, I need to give, because uh, in the, this uh, solution of the, as a line, the borehole, I need to, we need to use this criteria, otherwise we cannot get to the exact results. This is our borehole radius, and this is the R criteria. If you have uh, six nodes around to your BHE, uh, and you need to use this criteria, A number, I use six nodes and the six point 13. And uh, like here, it is written here. And uh, this after surface is ready, I can prepare my mesh structure. I'm going to use the G mesh. And here it's possible to use uh, different uh, types. I need to write here because I don't want to get the uh, mesh inside. And I need to just click on this here triangle. And then it's going to be ready. Okay, this is where just uh, the upper surfaces, and it's uh, possible to extrude this one, one from 2D to 2D. Um, my borehole is the fifth part meter, and I'm going to use the fifth one here. And for each meter, I'm going to use one node, the one zone, and it's possible for, like that. Yes, the geometry is here. Uh, okay, my mesh structure also ready, and I can look here at my borehole, and uh, and uh, uh, it is ready right now. Just I need to save the, these files, uh, the uh, MSH file here, and also G, GLE file like that. Okay, as a GLE. And the GLE and the MSH file is ready in the OGS. Uh, we need to assign this, uh, uh, yeah, uh, GLE MSH is already, let's change it here. As a team file, I need to also assign. This is 96 point uh, steps for each and of an hour in the initial conditions for an old means this undisturbed ground temperature, this is the fluid properties and this material properties for uh, heat conduction. And then this is my thermal conductivity I wrote here, numerically I use three heat transport. Uh, for output I can write here, but I need just control flow. And this is a pre PCS file I'm going to use heat transport in this ST source term. It is also important. Uh, this is the point PHE that I gave it before. Uh, this is 0 for 1 YouTube, uh, for 1 for double YouTube. A control flow, you can get the information from this website. It is written here. You just look at it. And uh, the flow properties, the distance between pipes and the semiconductor of uh, pipes. And uh, here, the zones and the length of the borehole and the diameter of the borehole. This is the ground uh, semiconductor. This is also you get from here. And this is closed borehole. These are the my steps. This is the time. Uh, this is the zero. If I give the inlet temperature, I give inlet temperature. That's why I put here zero. And this is the flow rate. And then it's ready. I can I can put all the files in one uh, file, one folder. Yes, I put all the files here. And this is my OGS .exe file. And try to just uh, start on .exe file. And uh, I need to write to here test case without extension. And then it's ready. And it's going to take a couple of minutes. And I will get ready. Yes, bottom is completed. I can see here the, uh, my control flow files, and uh, I can open from also from Notepad. And here the time, the inlet temperature that I give, and now the temperature is calculated, and the heat flux is for our boreholes. And I can copy and paste this file to my Excel sheet. Yes, I copy it here, and uh, I compare the results from here, and my experiment result P1 and the 